So Bren, it's been great to see you back out there. How good has it felt to be back out there? Yeah, obviously I was back before um, of, uh, the lockdown at first. Uh, probably did three weeks training. Um, but now, obviously, I didn't really do a, a, a full session with uh, the, f the full team. I don't, maybe, maybe I did one session. Um, but now, because obviously it was sat Saturday, Tuesday, so it was quite a hectic schedule. Um, but yeah, it's good to be back. It's like, feels so good to be back now after a long time out. Yeah, did the break sort of almost come at a good time for you because it gave you a bit of time to sort of really get back fully fit? Yeah, really good. Um, I mean, I felt fit at first, but I was probably still feeling like little things here and there. Um, whereas the, the time off just gave me the time to get more rehab. Um, and obviously, yeah, build, build fitness and kind of then when we come back, everyone was kind of at an even um, keel in terms of fitness because we've had time off they haven't been playing the games um, so yeah yeah probably really good timing for me in hindsight yeah and obviously after having so long on the sidelines how good does it feel to be able to call yourself fully fit yeah so good um, it's like rough time rough year um, long time as well so I just I can't really see how good it feels now like just just to play without the pain um, and, and just feel like back back to myself probably the best the best I've felt ever since I come here obviously there was sort of a, a few setbacks as the year went on but just sort of in general talk us through what the injury was and what you had to do to get over it um, god I could probably talk all day what um, what, what it, you know, got gone into, into real detail of it, but uh, I think it was mainly just like hip groin, um, desensitising the area after um, the operation, uh, stiffening up the hip joint, uh, strengthening all the ligaments and tendons in my groin, and then building up like my core, um, obliques and stuff like that. Uh, some really hard, like relentless. Uh, rehab I had to go through, different rehabs than, that obviously didn't work, the operation uh, didn't work, so yeah it was it was tough and really mentally hard but just obviously glad to be back playing now. It's, it's a real testament to yourself that you obviously kept coming back and, and didn't give up, did you feel at any stage that you know it just wasn't going to end? Yeah to, to be honest like, I never really like said to the physios and that about but you wonder like after you've um, You've, like I say, you've done different rehabs, seen different specialists, had the operation, then it's just not working. It did cross my mind, like, is it gonna, you know, is, am I gonna get back to uh, to normal? But yeah, like I say, I feel the best I've felt now in probably since I come here. We've spoken to other players who have had long-term injuries as well, and, and they've also mentioned the, the sort of mental side of it. What can you do to, to make sure you do keep your mental well-being okay? Um, Tough one, really. Uh, I think my family has been a really big help to us during it. Um, I, f I first time my mum and dad every day, um, and they've probably put up with a lot of whinging from me. <laughs> Coming back from footy, just back to the apartment by myself, you know, and it's a lonely time and you're frustrated because your mind's telling you one thing and your body's just saying no, that you, you can't do it. Um, there was times where like, I couldn't even just simple things like rolling over in bed like I would feel the pain um, getting up off the sofa just like really basic things like that um, but what could I say if you meant I don't know just keep going I suppose it's, uh, nothing unless it's like really really bad it's not going to last forever is it um, obviously it was a long time but I suppose trying to do other things in your, uh, in your spare time um, <laughs> I don't know really, it was really tough, I don't, I don't know, I don't know to be honest. Yeah, of course, I mean, Kenny said before as well, you know, with, with an ankle injury sometimes you can sort of play through the pain, with the injury that you had is not really an option, is that something that you sort of felt yeah, as well? I think I suppose like, you look at Watty, Jack Watmore when he's uh, done his, his um, knee, he, he knows what it is, he's been through that before and he knows the time scale and what his rehab and stuff like that is. I think in some cases you'd probably rather have that where you know what you're doing rather than... I, I remember the very first uh, specialist I went and seen in Ireland, I was like, you know, I was buzzing for it. I was thinking, I'm going to go and see these specialists. Um, and 
they're going to kind of fix us. They'll give me the, the rehab program, and uh, you know that'll be it. But I've never, I've never had an injury where like you you do as you're told, you do the rehab, and um, it doesn't work. And I think that's the most frustrating thing because you get the end of it, you come back outside, and it, you know you're still getting that same pain, and you just you just can't do it. Your body your body's just telling you no. What about obviously having to sort of be away from from the squad and be away from the coaching staff is that tough as well because you obviously want that communication to be there and you want to feel part of it yeah definitely but i think I, the full way through it, i know I, I was just i was miles off it i was miles off it in terms of like knowing how close i was to being back um but i think Probably one of the worst things was going to watch the games, um, just sitting in the stands every week. I, I I went because I had to go. <laughs> I hated going to watch because you sat there watching and you can't, um, you just know you can't do it. Uh, and obviously you can't be out there with the lads trying to win, affect, affect the game and stuff like that. So, so frustrating, honestly. Got a few shouts of Brynny Esther in the background as well. Uh, how good does it feel now that you're going to be able to go into the playoffs and stand a chance of, of playing your part? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, obviously the preparations leading up to it, up until now, have been good. I feel like I've been training well um, and done well in the game. So um, I'm buzzing for it, yeah, really buzzing for it. And of course, it'll be nice to uh, FaceTime your parents from the pitch at Wembley if we get there as well, won't it? Yeah, off play, but I think all um, focus is just on the first uh, first game against Oxford, uh, and then we'll we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Thanks, Brian, and once again, great to see you back out. Cheers, nice one.